we'll have some. Thank you. I was just about to do that. So I'll allow PDG Felix to take the mic and to go ahead and explain what a satellite club is. Thank you. Sorry, this get out of this call. Thank you, President Dorrit. Um, and good evening again. So basically, a satellite club is an opportunity for a small group of Rotarians or potential Rotarians become involved with Rotary. The satellite club is, for a better analogy, is like the child of a full Rotary club and can be started with a um, minimum of eight members. Uh, the club is, as I said, uh, a child to the, to the parent club, and the membership is actually counted as part of the parent club. The advantages of a satellite club is that they get a little bit more flexibility that, uh, than the, the bigger club or the, the parent club, because the satellite club can form with the approval of its parent club, its own charter, and that charter can offer a lot more flexibility in terms of where the club meets, um, the format of the meetings, the dues that the club pays, and things like attendance and, and some of the restrictions that the, the bigger club will have. So it really gives a group of potential Rotarians or even Rotarians who may no longer have the same desires as they had previously in their bigger club, an opportunity to continue in Rotary without all of the restrictions of the bigger Rotary club. And the satellite club, once it grows to a membership of 20 people or persons, can either choose to become a club or Rotary club of its own, or it could continue to be a satellite club to the parent club. Now, very recently, a number of Rotarians who were part of a satellite club, well, actually the mother club, um, registered some objections to Rotary about the name satellite club because they say it didn't feel like the satellite club was a part of them and there's some kind of disconnect. And so Rotary is right now in the process of creating some new definitions and the name satellite club may be changed to what we call a partner club, a companion club. And companion clubs can then have various forms. They could be uh, what we call impact clubs. They can be cost-based clubs. Or they can be specific uh, uh, industry-type clubs. They can be almost anything. They can be clubs of uh, a group of veterans, or it could be a group of teachers. It can be anything but they have the flexibility of uh, doing things that are differently from the parent club. So hopefully within the next six weeks or so, uh, a better definition of satellite clubs will be really merged from Rotary International. I hope that uh, gives some explanation. Yeah, thank you, very, very clear. Are there any questions before we move on? Any questions from our visitors? Is there, is there, let's say, a restriction from uh, you being a part of the parent club and the and the child club, in a sense? Well, the restriction only that uh, you 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 be part of the same club, right? Because the membership for the satellite club or the um, companion club. It's the same membership for the big club. So you already, uh, while you're not maybe a formal member of the companion club, you have the um, the option to attend their meetings as if you were a member um, because their membership will be reported in the big club's numbers. The only thing that would be different is the bylaws under which they operate would be different. So if you're a member of the big club and you go to uh, the meeting of these uh, companion club, you have to go to that meeting and operate under their bylaws. Bear in mind, though, you will still pay your membership dues to your parent club. And I have a question: Can members reside anywhere? 
Hi, hello, Omar. Omar, how are you doing? In fact, you didn't properly introduce um, yourself because for the, the new Rotary, <laughs> Omar was with the club many, many years ago, and Omar was responsible for implementing one of the more impressive service programs we had, where we sponsored a student to Catherine University uh, for a summer program every year. And many of those students are now prominent business people, either in the Bahamas or somewhere in the United States. So it's interesting that uh, Loma, Loma Omar is back in Michigan because that's where the school is. But um, your question again, uh, Omar was? Yeah, I'm, I'm here actually um, popping up, um, you know, at the school once again. You know, we have I've had a partnership with these guys for quite, quite some time. So it's, it's good to be able to um, continuously um, partner and, and, and see how we can you know, make sure the students are able to continuously get their education and now the program is now advanced um, to um, Jamaica. Jamaica is very much involved in, in this program here and um, certainly Bahamians um, uh, started in Freeport and continues here. Uh, I understand we still have kids coming from Nassau so it's a good thing, thing to have and maybe one day we'll be expanding to other countries so um, so I'm just here topping up on a um, on an improvement plan and uh, but as I'm um, here talking with some of the Rotarians back there and and so they're very much interested in getting much more involved back with the Sunshine Club as I, I I wasn't a founding member of the Sunshine Club but I I came in I think maybe a year or two after it started so I, I and I'm not pretty much a part of some of the history and um, some of the things that went down many, many years back. So I'm so, so grateful to be able to see some of the members here and, and, and to be able to talk with you guys. Good. Okay, to answer your question, but before I answer your question, just to show you what a small world this is, if you speak with the folks at the school, uh, their most recent wallet Victorian is the cousin of my wife. Yeah, wow. <laughs> <laughs> And you're gonna name drop, are you? <laughs> um, no, I, I done it. She, she's uh, Jamaican, but I forgot her name. Okay, okay. I'll, I'll get the name and, and shoot it to you. Okay. So yes, so if you are a member of our satellite club, which is now going to be probably called a companion club, there is the option to be a remote member. Uh, simple because, in fact, you can be a remote member of any club as long as that club offers the option for hybrid meetings, right? So if the club can either be um, an online club, which means that all of its members attend online, or it can be a hybrid club, which means that you have the option to attend in person or via electronic means. And so uh, like in the case of our club, which is a hybrid club, you could be uh, coming to meetings in person, which is the preferred method for me anyway, or you can attend meetings online. So you can be anywhere in the world. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much for that, um, PDG and Omar. Um, it would be great to have you um, pull a few other persons in Michigan so that when you want to do a happy hour or you know get together with some other Rotarians, you could link up with a few persons on the ground as well. Um, are there any other questions? Oh, welcome, Janelle. We have Janelle online. Uh, Janelle, can you open your mic and just introduce yourself? We have a few visitors in the meeting. Janelle? You're muted. Not sure if you're saying hi, anything. Hi, Donna. Yes, I am trying to unmute my mic. I'm actually good after good evening, everyone. I'm actually on a break. As you know, I do I'm an adjunct instructor at BTVI, so I'm on a break from one of my classes. I'm just getting ready to go into another class at eight. And I saw the fly and I said I'll just come pop in and see what the fireside chat was all about. Okay, so we have a few visitors and we just wanted to share um, about Rotary and what a satellite club is, which is an extension of our Rotary Club 
um, and the persons don't necessarily have to be in the Bahamas. We have one person in Michigan, we have another person in Miami. And I'm not sure where Sarah is tuning in from. Sarah, can you unmute? Are you able to unmute now? All right, still can. Yeah, so the idea is to just share what the Satellite Club is about and to answer any questions they may have about um, Rotary. So I know you were a Rotarian before, you took a break to study and then you're back. How does it feel to be back? It feels really, really good to be back. Um, I'm still in school, but most of my work is done. Um, while I was on a study leave break, um, I don't know if you remember Rotarian Carolyn, PDG Felix helped me. She's from Lit Rye. Carolyn Johnson. Um, Carolyn Johnson. Um, she was a part of a literacy project, a digital literacy project in Puerto Rico. And she had reached out to me to assist. So even though I was absent physically, <laughs> I was still a Rotarian in spirit because I was still working along with that club. Um, the club's president trying to just offer my input wherever I could and help wherever I could. They applied for a grant from Lit Right. I can't remember the name of it, um, but it was just such a warm experience just working along with other fellow Caribbean Rotarians. And so even though I said I was like, you know, I'm on a study leave, she's like, yeah, but you're still a Rotarian. So I was like, OK, I'll do it. Um, but it's good to be back. Um, get involved Excuse in service me, you're projects not, you're not back until you come to the official meeting in person oh i am going to make that happen next week well hold on not tomorrow i have to be to work for 7 30 in the morning so it's going to be just a little challenging for me to get to crypto isle to get back to bahama but i'm gonna see how i can make it work if i don't get to come tomorrow definitely next week thursday so i can be reinducted reintroduced there you go <laughs> it's All good right. to be back so, welcome back Janelle, thank you so happy to have you back now two of our members who are in this chat joined rotary through a fireside chat they came and they learned a little bit more about rotary and the difference is that it was in person, so they got a chance to interact with us, have a few bites, and um, it's uh, and they're two very active Rotarians, um, Keith Roy and Duran. So I'd like um, both of them to just share um, their experiences so far. Um, Duran is probably one of the youngest members of the club and he's the coming president year after next. So he's the president elect at the moment. Um, Duran, do you want to start to share your experience with Rotary? What keeps you buzzing as a Rotarian and how you're enjoying your time so far? Just give them a sneak preview of what being a Rotarian is like. Sure. So thus far, being a Rotarian for just over a year now, it's been a pretty amazing experience, you know, getting to meet persons from all walk of life and also getting the, um, the networking capability to, like I said, meet persons from all walks of life, being, being that before I didn't really have much of a network in a sense. So afterwards I was able to meet folks and start to work on different projects, uh, community-based projects, as well as you know, just, just working on different things and having the opportunity to serve on the, uh, the Rotary Board of Directors, at least the RCNS Board of Directors. That's a very good opportunity that I really appreciate. And hopefully we'll be able to make some good things happen going forward into the future. Okay, thank you, um, Keith. All right, uh, good afternoon, uh, fellow Rotarians and guests. Uh, I can uh, echo Durant, 
<clears throat> grind sentiments on what he would have said earlier. Um, also, I would say for myself, uh, coming back home, I would say uh, September 2019, uh, I've been away for about six, seven years. So just coming back home, I didn't really, I guess, uh, know too many persons. Uh, so just being able to, I guess at the time, uh, working a new job, and then from there, being able to join a club like Rotary, um, I was able to uh, have a safe space, not only to just meet uh, like-minded individuals, but to also be able to give back. Uh, that that has been, I guess, for me, um, of a very good experience. Also, uh, just being able to uh, build a network and also be able to have a way to at least uh, communicate or talk to persons, uh, but it has really nothing to do with uh, business. You know, um, a lot of times just being busy, just working, um, conversations are more or less always aligned uh, with business, but just being able to, let's say, come together for a service project or just a fellowship. Um, Rotary has definitely been a, a safe space for me uh, to be able to do that. Um, so, yeah, um, it's been a really good journey so far, um, a little over a year. Um, I intend to continue uh, my Rotary journey uh, as I go along. And I'm personally glad that um, I'm a part of Nassau Sunrise, in my opinion probably the best club uh, in the region. Uh, thank you very much. So Keith, are you home? Uh, yes, I am. Are you going to introduce us to the missus? Yes, so, <laughs> yeah, so uh, with me, um, I have my fiance, uh, Courtney Pinda. Uh, she, she is a part of uh, Kiwanis. Um, but of course, uh, in due time, she, she will also um, more than likely join Rotary as well. Now, I don't know if it's a man in that family. Oh, is that um, um, PDG Felix? I said, I know who's the man. He's, he's already said his wife's going to join him. Well, then he gets married. Oh, so okay. he's, he's laying down the rules. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you give a warm Rory welcome to your lovely fiance, Keith. <laughs> Thank you very much, PG Felix. Oh Lord, I feel for hey, you. Hey Keith, Keith, don't let Felix vote right check with your pocket of the cash. <laughs> He's the one who said she will more likely join Rotary. Right? When the dog goes tonight, Pete. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anybody else wants to share their journey so far? Um, being a Rotarian, being able to give back, you know. I know Carl is one of our newest Rotarians. Do you want to share your experience as well? Or did we lose her? Donna? Uh huh. Yes, I think I, I think I forgot to say because I have to give credit to the Rotary Club of Nassau Sunrise. So when I joined, um, I was a I was acting as a literary specialist at Anatole Rogers High School, and a lot of things that I wanted to do in the schools I couldn't do. And when I joined, Sophie Rotarian Sophie invited me, and I met Felix. And I mean, I shared one or two item ideas with Felix and he was like, Chanel, let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. And so all of this love and passion for literacy even grew stronger. And I think that was like one of the really, really, really foundational reasons for me going back to do my grad studies. So in literacy education. So I am so happy to have been a part of NASA Sunrise. And I'm so appreciative of the support from 
you know, all of those members who were just advocating for literacy. So just, I just want to say thank you. I don't think I say thank you enough. And I know a lot of times I thank, I thank Felix and he does not believe how, you know, just saying, Janelle, let's do it. Let's do it. Whatever literacy um, ideas you have, let's see how we can make it work. And he's always been a cheerleader. Like, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. So um, thanks to NASA Sunrise for always being supportive. I don't think there was ever a literacy initiative that I wanted to implement in a high school or primary school. And whoever the reigning president was, they said no. So I appreciate the support. And I think if I had to do it all over again, <laughs> I would not be in another club or, you know, it was like, Janelle, you're, you're on a break now from sunrise. Why don't you join our club? Or why don't you join us? Like, ah, you know, home is where the heart is. Um, so I have a special place in my heart for Nassau sunrise. So it's just great to be back. And, you know, I don't think I made a wrong decision when I decided to be a part of this club. So thank you for having me back. And Keith mm -hmm. is great. It's great to see Keith. Keith was one of our really, really awesome students at Anatol, serving as our head boy. So congratulations to both you and Courtney. Small world, small world again. But that must be a small place in your heart because you ditched us and went for Carolyn. <laughs> I know, but it's still literacy. It is still, it's still NASA Sunrise. So you, I was still functioning as a NASA Sunrise member. Let me just say that. I, my membership may not have been current, but you're going to see Rotary Club of Nassau Sunrise on that district grant. Oh, whenever they get it. <laughs> you're, you're, you're forgiven. <laughs> Thank you. And Janelle, we love you a lot. So we're happy to have you back. And um, we hope to get some fire emojis again <laughs> in our chat. We missed you. <laughs> All right. Um, PP Arrow. I see you're back. Not sure if you can unmute as well as Lavelle. I'm also seeing an iPhone 84. iPhone 84, can you unmute and introduce yourself? That's Patrick. Oh, hi, Patrick. You're undercover tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I still work in my. Okay, okay. But oh. um, um, you know, before I joined Rody, I was sort of a shy person, you know. And I must say, coming really? to Rotary, yeah, yeah, shy person, man. I'm, um, public speaking and stuff like that, you know, you may get one or two words from me, but it wasn't much. But, uh, you know, the, the family... Nassau Sunrise family, they have just been so warm and inviting. And, you know, it's like this was someplace I should have been years ago. And I must say, never one day have I regretted. Thursday is my most exciting day of the week nowadays. I'm excited to, you know, get up and go to Rotary, even though it's early in the morning. That but, is so nice. But it, and, 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 and I must say, the members in Nassau Sunrise, you know, it's like, you know, they just welcome you, regardless of what, where, when, they just welcome you. And, 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 and it's, it's such a warm feeling, you know, when, you know, strangers just, welcome you just like that. No questions asked, no explanation, no anything, you know. And like I said, I'm, um, only thing with my regret is that I didn't join Rotary many more, many years ago. That, that's my advice. <laughs> Thank you, Patrick, that's simple awesome. And you've been an awesome Rotarian, so. We're happy to have you as a member of the club. All right, Lavelle, are you able to unmute? Not sure if you're hearing us. All right, PP Arrow, can you hear us? 
<laughs> Good night, everyone. If I scan, unfortunately, I'm doing parallel with the function of the uh, oh, yeah, DJ number. Uh, but I am happy to be a member of the Beth uh, Rotary Club in the world and uh, happy to be not only associated with such fine people and everyone here, but also um, proud of the work that our club does and Rotary does on the board. Everyone. And I was not going to pull the lad to drop off now for my function. All right. Okay. Thank you. All right. President Donna, you're muted. Oh, sorry, I'm here talking and didn't realize. Oh, I was <laughs> I was trying to find um, Rotaire and Caroline to see if she wanted to share, but I noticed she's no longer on. So, all right, so I wanna say thank you to Omar. And uh, of course, Omar, when will you be in this side of the world? When are you coming to Nassau? I think I'll be there for June. I, um, uh, my kids are graduating from graduate school, so I'll be there in June and uh, from a hop trip. Okay. Uh, uh, this is a hop trip. We'll, we'll see. <laughs> okay, it would be nice to get together when you get here. So let us know so we can have a little fellowship with you and members of the club. Um, I think, I think, oh my, are you in Freeport? Huh? Are you in Freeport? Am I in Freeport? Yeah. Well, I was based in people before coming over here, but yeah, I'm, I'm in here. Also, how long you been back in Michigan? No, oh, but a year and nine. I got a house over here and everything, so I, I put a little roots down here. So. Okay, shy with that. Yeah, been a while. All right, mm -hmm. well, congratulations. All right. Yeah, it's been a pleasure working with um, um, some of the team and, um, you know, I'm looking forward to the probably coming in the Thursday morning for, for the meeting there um, when, I, when I do get landed. Okay. And then you can join virtually as well. Okay. <laughs> All right. So we send you the link. So um, drop your um, your digits in the chat so that we can follow up after the meeting and we can be in touch with you. Yes. And um, probably we want to continue the program. So we that's a good item of discussion. To perhaps we get a few more. You know, because Jamaica is attempting to take over here. So. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, um, any any um, call to action, um, Director Simone? You want to add anything before we wrap up? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay, we're not hearing you. We're not hearing you. Did we lose her? 
Can you lose them on? Yeah, it looked like she dropped off. Yes, yeah, oh, my laptop yeah. shut off. I um I'm oh. back. Okay. So I don't know what you said in, in my absence. No, I was just we were kind of, I was just waiting on you just in case you wanted to do a call of call to action. I will yes. a video, but um my laptop, I left my laptop in the office. I thought I had it. So I won't be able to switch over to share the video. Okay. Well, certainly I would like to thank our president, Doneth, PDG Felix, and all of our Rotarians who have joined this fireside chat tonight and have shared their personal experiences of what it means to be a Rotarian. And as you can see, once a Rotarian, always a Rotarian. You never seem to leave, just we go through seasons of life, but we certainly uphold the beliefs and the principles of, of Rotary International where um, service is above self. And so we invite those of you who are joining us as guests or hopefully returning Rotarians to reach out, let's stay in touch and Let's take this to the next level. I think we can definitely start our satellite club for those of you who are abroad or who are interested in remote membership and let's get the ball rolling. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. And I will drop my contacts in the chat if you would like to reach out to me directly. I'm sure you have Michael Cartwright who's, who's been very good. Yeah. He's been around for a while. I don't even know why, but he <laughs> made it happen. Right. Um, yeah. Okay, anything else? Anybody wants to, any questions before we wrap up, before we say good night? All right, Omar, just be safe, keep warm. I know it's cold where you are. And we look forward to seeing you again soon. Please drop, drop your number in the chat so that Secretary Duran and um, Director Simone can be in touch with you. Exactly. Just want to echo up. Um, I think what somebody was saying before, when I was in the club, I experienced it. This was so encouraging and sure it happened. And I just want to give Ms. Flowers a lot. <laughs> but he's very easy here and, and see how encouraging he's been for me as, in my career and, and things that all Rotary for so 20 years now. And I just want to say thank you for, for, that, for your support now, uh, for some of the things that you've helped me with and certainly help all the behaviors around. Um, as you say, who well, has had many different um, parts to play around the world. So I just want to say thank you, Felix, and for, for your support. Thank you and stay well. Awesome. All right. So, as thank you so much for being here, and um, stay tuned for our next fireside chat. And next time, please bring a guest, someone who is not a Rotarian, so we can share our Rotary experience to persons who have never been exposed. Um, I remember going to. A particular business a few years ago and um, they mentioned Rotary to the person and they thought, oh, nobody has ever invited me to Rotary. Um, so there are people out there who wants to know more about Rotary, want to get involved, they want to give back, but they're not sure which organization to join. And these sessions are opportunities for us to share, give information, and uh, share our Rotary experience so that others would be inspired to become members and to give back as we do. So stay tuned for the next one. And we had 15, we went up to 15 persons on this call. So if each of us invite one person to our next chat, then we'll get to 30. So stay tuned and we'll let you know when that date is. And with that said, just thank you again for being here and enjoy the rest of your evening. All right, so I'll see you guys later. Bye.
Thank you. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Take care. Have a good evening. Yes, good evening.